Hey internet, it's Bradley here. I'm here with uh, DC Pearson. Hey guys. Of a, a famous novelist, a sketch comedy star, actor, writer, um, hair grower. Just beautiful man. Yeah, that, I'll take it. So we've got a couple questions that you from the internets asked uh, for DC. First question comes from Steven. Uh, no, this actually comes from Sarah. Both Steven and Sarah. Sorry, it was written down weird. Two people asking the same question. Okay. At the same time, uh, so it's a, in unison. In unison, yeah. Like they the don't... twins from The Shining. Exactly. Uh, which Derek sketch uh, was your favorite to actually make? Um, Maybe not your favorite in product, huh. but your favorite one to make. That's a great question. I think that my favorite Derek sketch, Derek being the comedy group that I, uh, I guess technically still am in, we're sort of on like a permanent hiatus. Um, uh, I guess my favorite sketch to make was one we did called New Bike which is kind of a like just sort of innocuous domestic scene that turns into like a great big kind of like action suspense movie that was really fun because it was just a lot of really technical like action movie ish stuff mm -hmm. like people having sniper rifles on roofs and like tracking across the roof of like a house and, like seeing the people that he's like targeting and stuff so i think just from an almost like making a miniature action movie perspective although if you go and watch it please don't hold it to the standards of a literal miniature action movie <laughs> like with like a tiny bruce willis or something like a miniature expendables um it was it was pretty fun nice uh next question comes from ashley she asks um your book crap kingdom does that represent some aspect of your own life uh, Crap Kingdom. I think Crap Kingdom is the. Sorry to be so expositional. No, this, no, is just, no. this is marketing. This is for yeah. me. This is free exposure. <laughs> um, uh, on the internet for once. I've never been on the internet before. Um, uh, Crap Kingdom is a young adult novel that I came out with in March. It's about a kid uh, named Tom who loves stuff like Harry Potter, Chronicles of Narnia, things like that. Anywhere where a kid from our world gets taken to a fantasy universe where he's told he's the chosen one. And that actually happens to Tom and he's told he's the chosen one. But it just turns out that the fantasy universe in which he's the chosen one is really, really crappy. Mm -hmm. Hence the name Crap Kingdom. Um, I think that uh, the biggest part of the book that is inspired by my actual life is the fact that Tom and his friend Kyle in the book are both really into high school drama club and I was a huge high school mm -hmm. theater geek and so it was really fun to like kind of write about that world just because I have such fond untarnished wonderful memories of high school theater. Okay Megan asks uh, do you feel that your long hair fuels your creativity? This is Megan with an H I wanted to know that's awesome go against the grain of Megan spelling and uh, do I feel that my long hair fuels my creativity I mean it definitely gives me like fun stuff to play with mm -hmm. like being like a hair ninja or having like a fake like mustache on top of my real mustache to be like ah it's me um, so yes I guess is the short answer okay so like Sam you're like Samson I'm like comedy yeah but I bet Samson was pretty funny he did some open mics yeah well he, I think, no, he was working on finding his voice, and he right. never really got to do it before his hair was unfortunately right. cut off. And then he was like, "Oh fuck, I have like 15 minutes." Of and then he brought the house down. long hair material. Yeah. He brought the house down. Oh. That's, the, that's the screenwriter's son. Yeah, yeah. This is a cool question. Nick asks, uh, "How does doing podcasts differ from your stand-up in terms of like your your stage persona?" Huh. That's a great question as well. I, they're all great questions. Um, how does doing podcasts differ from my persona as a stand-up comedian? I think a lot. I mean, actually, well, you want them to all be on the same continuum because mm -hmm. if you're being on a podcast and you're supposedly being like honest with people, which I obviously you know try to be, um, you don't want that to be too different than what you do as a stand-up because ideally what you're doing as a stand-up is being honest with right. people right. In, in just a different form. So I think they're all kind of like different forms of the same thing. Cool. Uh, one last very quick question. Uh, Joey asks, when is the Mystery Team sequel going to happen? Mystery Team sequel, um, you know, just right now we have, you know, the, the big thing that a lot of films are concerned with right now mm -hmm. is, is will movies play in China? Right. Um, which is why uh, when we go to make the Mystery Team sequel, um, we're each going to be played by a different figure from Chinese politics. Great. And we figure having one from each different, like, you know, kind of like political uh, party within China, I think they have multiple political parties, you know, or at least like movements or whatever, mm -hmm. no matter who ends up running China in mm -hmm. five or ten years, we'll definitely have at least one person in there that everyone can support because gotcha. they'll be in power now. So that's kind of holding things back. So I would say don't hold your breath. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, that's uh, DC Pearson. 
Uh, you should read his books, The Boy Who Couldn't Sleep and Never Had To, and Crap Kingdom. Both very funny. I've read both of them. I'm not the fake. Wow. Wow.